hey guys welcome to my first video here today we have a magic trick so as you can see these are all normal cards this can be a borrowed deck or whatever i can spread these out for you to see that it's all normal okay all right and these are not these aren't any any special order and i can prove it to you and the spectator can do this too as well so i want you to please pick a deck so let's say they pick this deck I want you to take the top card, put it somewhere in the middle. See? Right. I want you to take the top three cards and place it face down. Or if you have spectators, you can give it out to them too. But believe it or not, you've already told me these three cards, what the faces are, just by pointing at that deck. If you don't believe me, this is the th three of diamonds, four spades, and five of hearts. Can you please show everyone, show the audience that these are those cards. Three diamonds, four spades, and five of hearts. So yeah, that's pretty much the trick. Um, I believe it's called the trio by Encyclopedia, Encyclopedia of Card Tricks, I believe. Not so sure about that, but I'll get back to it. So here, let's go into the tutorial. For this tutorial, for this trick, you're gonna need three cards that you think you can memorize pretty easily. So I picked the three of diamonds, four of spades, um, five of hearts. You can pick any cards that you would um, think you can memorize pretty easily. So here are your three cards. Now once you memorize those pretty well, you wanna put it on top. But before you do that, you wanna take uh, one card out. And then once you have those top three, you wanna put the card on top. So, technically, oh, they're not exactly on top, you just have one card above them, okay? So, after doing that, you can, um, so it's kind of already um, set in a special way because of those top three cards, top four cards if you like. But um, you can show to your audience after doing that, that um, this is a normal deck of cards, these aren't put in any special way. And even if they get to those, uh, your cards that you're gonna memorize, they don't know because obviously they don't know the trick yet. You haven't said that, okay, I will, you know, know what those top three cards are. But after doing that, you can shuffle. So obviously this is the top. And you want to keep those top four cards on the top. You don't want it to end up being on the bottom. So you can be shuffling however you like. You can have a spectator do this as well, but it depends if you know how good of a shuffler they are. If, um, if they're a bad shuffler, then maybe give them a chance. But to be safe, I would do this on your own. So after doing this, you can split the deck into two. You can tell them to point at a deck or pick a deck or choose a deck. I would say point or pick because if they choose a deck, they grab it or something, you're going to have to tell them like, oh, that's not the right deck or something. So if they point at a deck and they say, so this is going to be the right deck because those are the top four cards. So if they point at this deck, then you can remove it like that. Or if they point at this deck, then you can just remove it as well. But you just want to keep the top deck. After doing that, you can tell them to take the top card or you can do this yourself. But to take the top card and put it somewhere in the middle. And here you're not doing anything. You can just, just put it in. They can just do that if they want to. Nothing special about that. But now the top three cards are here, you know, but, you know, so can tell them to put it take the top three cards and put it face down or if you have more than one spectator like you have at least three spectators because there's three cards you can ask them to hold, hold it themselves and to look at it so if you memorize the order so this is the five of hearts i think um, four spades or uh, three diamonds um you can point at it or you can say this is this this is this and this is that or you can just say in all of these three cards the cards are and then you start listing them and then they flip them and five of hearts four spades and three of diamonds that is how you do i believe it's called the trio trip it's in some magic book i will list it in the description or in the comments where you can buy that book this is just one of the tricks this it's my first video, so hopefully you like that trick. 
and uh, I'll try to make more.